Hi, this is Antti from React Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use data source for screen. And uh, by by using data source for screen, I mean that you can you can set the data sheet uh, as a data so source for screen. And uh, I'm going to create this uh, ran random background image for the screen, which always changes when you when you load the screen. So let's start by adding some da random data. I'll call this background images images and add some mockup data. Let's call it, let's find the fashion pictures. And I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think I have 17 rows here. And uh, then I want to create a data slot where we're going to randomize the, the row that we're going to see every time when user user uh, browses the, the screen. So let's call this data slot random random row like this and default value could be something like zero. Well, let's call it one. And then head to the start screen. And uh, let's add a placeholder image for the for the for the background. I'll just drag an image here and drag it to the background group and make it full screen like this. And now it's full screen. And then we, we're going to hook the data. So I'll select the screen from the from the uh, project map. Select the screen and scroll here. Carry properties from data sheet. And I'm going to select the datasheet and uh, then I'm going to use a data slot which row we're going to sh uh, show as a data data source by default it's always the zero index the first row but now we're going to randomize that row so I'm going to select the data slot I just created and then I need to add a script here and I think I have it already here this will just randomize a number between zero and zero and uh, 16 I guess and then returns that value to the input input parameter and then just save it and click it here so basically every time when when the this data slot value changes we're going to randomize a new new row and then we're going to use that row as a data source for the for the screen and then we need to just bind this image element to to be uh, the fashion big pick fashion pig pick uh, uh, column in the in the data sheet and now I think when if we browse this we should be able to get a new picture every time when we browse the browse the app and let's see how it looks in the browser and here I have it in the browser so it's showing a picture and if I reload it and I will get a new picture. We could uh, add a list here for showing all the all the pictures and we could add a refresh button for let's put it on the bottom right corner of the screen so that when you click this you will get a new picture. Let's call this refresh and then simply Let's do it so that we just browse the same window again and it should do the trick and then create a list for showing all the pictures and by that we need empty component. Let's call this comp image and I'll just change the don't add. I'll just add a placeholder image here. I'll put it in a foreground group make it full screen or full component and then maybe change the component size to s okay i'm not able to change the component size let's just reopen the component and resize it and 100 by 100 and then connect the data. So I'm going to just connect 
the image property for the fashion pick pick column in the in the data sheet and then going to add a list element here on the screen and by clicking the option button at the same time I can drag a drop it in a foreground group and uh, but I could also put it in a scroll flow and select the maybe we could use two columns and take items from the data sheet and then select the component that we're going to going to repeat in the list and here it is already and let's run this in the browser and see how it looks yes so now we have a list here showing all the pictures that we have in the in the background image list and clicking the refresh always shows me a different different image basically what it does is just randomizes number number and uses that that row then for fetching the data for the data uh, for the screen so using uh, screen data source just select the screen when you're on the project map and from the bottom here from the data source you can you can select the data sheet and then you can set the row manually or use a data slot for for setting the row which which the data will be uh, fetched so thank you and uh, see you in the next next video